Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is Magnius. So I was in the process of making an orbital video where I was actually in orbit with two spacecraft and I was going to try to get to the other spacecraft and dock, but unfortunately in my docking practice game that didn't end up working. If you want to know why, you can check the Kerbal Space Program bloopers video that I'm also going to upload. And it shows that as I started recording with Fraps, which was the F9 key, F9 also happens to be the quick load button for Kerbal Space Program, which I have now changed. So it made my flight disappear and reappear on the launch pad. It's not very good. So let's not do docking practice today. Let's do that another time when I haven't already spent an hour, which just disappeared in front of my eyes. So let's go to my regular saved game, and I decided that today we're going to have a slightly shorter video, but I want to show you something that I was trying to make off camera. Lots of people have rovers, and you can make really decent rovers using certain add-ons, certain plugins. Mr. Swiggles is still sick, by the way, but uh, I don't use plugins, I don't use mods, so my, my rovers are sort of questionable, but I put together a prototype rover that I wanted to show you guys. Alright, so <laughs> here's my bare bones basic rover. It uh it has RCS. Actually looks like it's missing some stuff. Does it even have the action groups? Yes. Yes it does. Okay, so it does have the action groups, but it appears to not have Yeah, it, it doesn't have it doesn't have the RCS that I put on it before. So let's put one of those there and put another RCS here. All right, very good. And let's, wait, is that the wrong rover? Let's save this and load. Alright, so I guess I just didn't save it the last time I made it. Anyway, so this is the rover. It's very bare bones. It's just some various structural pieces put together. Here in the middle, we have some very shoddily placed solar panels. All of these are solar panels, and those are batteries. And you may wonder, Magnus, why are there so many solar panels? Well, the thruster on this is an ion engine, and ion engines have their xenon in them which is a fuel source, and they also use electrical power. They drain electricity very quickly. So we have lots and lots of power solar panels on this to try to power it. Um, the problem with these particular ones I found is that they can't look up. They can only look side to side. So we may have to change the time until the sun is behind us or in front of us so that it can actually stay powered. But here are the wheels. Everything else seems to be at least moderately okay. So let's let's go ahead and try this. This is not meant to be used on Kerbin, so it may not work very well. It's supposed to be used on the moon, perhaps, something like that. Actually, my design is quite poor, so maybe it wouldn't even work on the moon. But, uh, ah, the, the sun is in fact behind us. Wonderful. Okay, so this, this is the coolest part, in my opinion. One. Wow. Solar panels extend. And they should turn themselves around automatically. Yes, they do. Look at that. So cool. Amazing. That is using action groups. You guys should check out action groups if you haven't already. So we have 1,005 electricity, 700 xenon gas, and monopropellant. Can I turn on my RCS? Yes, the monopropellant is working. The RCS is working. Let's throttle up. And see how fast we can go. <coughs> Takes a while to speed up. 1.8, 1.9, 2.0. This is not meant to be used on Kerbin. Again, this is this is meant to be used somewhere where there's no atmosphere. And lower gravity. 3.8 meters per second. Nice. Slowly, slowly. As you can see, we've only used three of the 700, four of the 700 xenon gas. And with the sun behind us, we're currently not using any electricity. We're actually making more electricity than we're using. Use the RCS to keep ourselves straight. I don't know why we're veering off to the left. Probably has something to do with the way that my wheels are placed. 
The uh, bilateral symmetry doesn't work very well when making rovers with wheels that uh, don't attach on normally. The wheels wanted to attach because of the direction of these structural elements. They wanted to point out. Oh my god! And yeah, as you just saw, that was the explosion of our solar panels. They, they're, they're gone, Steve. They're gone. And yeah, so it's not a very good rover. It, it was fun to build, I guess, perhaps. And yeah, this is going to run out of fuel in probably about 20 seconds. The mono propellant is fine. Plenty of mono propellant, but xenon gas is also fine. El electricity, on the other hand, doesn't really work out very well when all of your sol solar panels explode. We're now almost going 10 meters per second, which is actually pretty fast if you think about it. Like 10 meters in real life is pretty far. But uh, the problem... Oh god, my last solar panel flying off. The problem with this rover, I think, in my opinion, is that I'm using it on Kerbin. Kerbin has an atmosphere, it has air, things are being calculated for wind resistance and things like that. So I believe the solar panels, when they hit the air in the atmosphere of Kerbin, when we get up to about 8.2 meters per second, they just break, they explode. They just don't work at all. And we're now out of electricity, actually, so we, uh, we can't use the RCS all the time when we run out of electricity. The ion engine just turned off, so we should be slowing down, actually. We're, we're probably not going to make it to the end of the runway. Oh. Right, so as I said, this is not supposed to stay in Kerbin. But anyway, if this is on the moon, a place without air, or maybe if I take some of these solar panels off and put a fewer number of larger solar panels instead of many, many small ones, something like that, maybe if I try that, maybe they won't explode when I reach 8.2 meters per second. Because the moon has no air, so there shouldn't be any air resistance, or at least I don't think so. Uh, satellites seem to do quite fine going very fast, as long as they're outside the atmosphere. So I think that's the main problem. I don't know how I'm going to get one of these to the moon. We'll, we'll see about that. I, I have no idea if that'll work or not. Since getting to the moon currently with my level of skill is already incredibly difficult as it is, and I've only really crash landed there twice haven't really landed landed so we'll see about that in another episode since there was a, a blooper for the earlier orbital thing where i was trying to dock we'll do that later but that's that's about all i have to show you guys on this episode of kerbal space program so if you like the rover and the failure that it is and the explosion of solar panels do give this this video a like subscribe to my channel leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you oh oh Duh. I'm sorry, Rover. I tried. Saddest thing I've ever seen. Alright, so leave a comment in the comment section, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys later. See you in space. Hopefully.